Well, 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 I want to take good notice of this picture you now while you're not listening to the truth. I want me to say, all right, listen and learn. Listen, me I tell you the truth. Listen, reggae truth, reggae history, reggae facts. Well, well, I want all of the reggae world to watch this, you know, because this is a crucial thing. I mean, Ja did say to us that he would prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. But he never said that you should have sit down and eat with them and dine with them. All right? So, when them come around, no, no, or oh, no, go visit them. First check out and see what them are going with. At their invitation. Yeah. I was showing you this man here. Have been for years been telling the world about him as reggae historian. And every work that I do and we do from Trenchtown. Him try to tell people say a lie and twist it. Even looking through my books them and twisting up stuff. Finding the people where me put them in my books, yes, because everything I write is true. And then I try to bias them against I and I. And then them tell me, <coughs> give me, give me them testimonials before and after them even meet with him. This man here has been trying over the years to discredit my history, my liberty. From Trench Town. A, a, a life of living suffering in the ghettos of Trench Town. And this man here will come from Brooklyn, New York, who call himself a reggae historian. Him say Bob call him Ross Roger. And, and that's a lie. Because Bob never said that. And what Bunny and I drew them and everybody cherry them. And everybody tell I. Me have it. I mean, I release certain things yet. You know, because he himself will never have the copyrights. And look at the at the copyright posted below where we stand up. You don't see me, we have a copy of my book in my left hand. All right. Listen to what I say. Listen, listen carefully. Well, might not know. What I'm specifically going to address at this point. But you see, me and this man here, when him Roger Stephens, all of my works, him fall around the place. And if I say something positive, him write something negative. Like say, he may have some competition with I and I. All right, let, let's put this straight. I come from Trench Town. All right. Trench Town, where reggae music was created in my backyard. Him come from Brooklyn, New York. Him, him don't even, I've never stepped foot in a Trench Town. All right? Him don't know nothing about our liberty in a Trench Town. And yet him at talk about Livicated and Bob Marley, say, he may call him Ross Roger and all kind of stuff. And he is a Bob Marley historian and all them kind of stuff. And I mean, he has spoken to Joe Higgs, my brethren, my neighbor, Joe Higgs, who is rightly named the godfather of reggae. And, Ray, and Joe Higgs tell them, say, of course, everybody why marks about I and I, if them know I, them, them tell him positive truths, positive things, and him twist it, and always turn it into some negative, fake kind of, steal my, my historical liberty and credits. Some kind of reason this man here don't want the truth. And I live the truth. I come from Trenchtown. He keep telling people, say, 
I never have the copyrights for creating reggae. I see the copyrights are right under him, right under a foot. Look below. It's a type of work text. It's a registration number. This come from the copyright office. All right. Application title, reggae. Origin of the word and incorporation into music. Title, reggae. Copyright claim on which is I and I, Ricardo Ainsley Scott, Rascardo. All right. And who does the number? This comes from the Library of Congress, Copyright Office in Washington, D.C., United States of America. The Copyright Office now go give you a copyright unless for them legal team and researchers find out say nobody else have written what you have written and presented. All right. The copyright people, them know if you know me personally, but them see the personal works and them authenticate it because they have never seen it before or nobody has ever copyrighted it before. All right. Listen to what I say. No, this man here for years have been living Half a Bob Marley reggae name, a youth whom I mentored and teach a lot of things in a trench town. My family and friends had protected him when he first walk up Bob Marley in a trench town. I will make sure that Bob was safe, even though his skin was as white as snow. We protected him. And he was able to do music and things like that. We have the full history. This man a lot of the idea and promote the idea. Go Jamaica, I know visit Jamaica all the time. Say Maggie speech at the Bob Marley lecture up at University of the West Indies, where them keep every year down there. Up at Mona. Yeah man. And they don't know. <laughs> Jamaica encouraging this falsity because basically him want the world for things say him know about reggae more than us who born in a hit grew up in a hit in a trench town and really know the roots foundational aspects of the whole thing yeah the man they were but but take well on the credit. He used my book. She said the book when you have never left and right or so. In a fee him so called reggae archives. It's really not an archive. It's a memorabilia collection. It is like a in I mean, would you call a man who collect bricks, an architect, or just a brick collector? Well, it is something like a, 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 a brick collector. Him go around and him have a retinue of people collect things from him. Because he used to be a DJ, all right, in a Santa Monica, a NPR radio affiliate, KCRW, all right. He must spread free propaganda and I try to twist up our history since 19, what, 76, 79. And you would have things that Jamaica would have recognized that from long time. But Jamaica really has slip up badly when it comes to that. And even the copyright predicament that it in a right now, plundering the man them works and the man them can't get no money. Royalties off of them works. You see what I go on? Holy patting I go on. Yeah, when him first know about reggae and him want to latch on himself by Bob Marley. But is Bob Marley picking them go off and deal with him? from the aspects of him I try to make money off of Bob name. But him can't fool we when come out of trench town. And I rascal that they day have to call him out because I am the reggae creator. I am the reggae copyrights, which is the legal documentation of ownership and creation given by the copyright office. And him now on the world for know the truth. Him I tell people see a toots. After toots, tell them say, him get the name reggae and him spell it wrong because him run with it. All right, but him never ever know how it's spelled. Everywhere my works go, 
and people do interview of I and post it. This man here try to check it out and write a negative response. Even the Kenyan journalist, Chimbiru Jimodi, who no say me play that on YouTube, who no check out what me are show no. This man here, Roger Stephens, has been plagiarizing and trying to falsify my historical reggae creation works. But he will never prevail. I mean, I make the world know, say, he is a pirate, he is a thief, he is a plagiarizer, he is a reggae vampire, and I, people like him, Bob and all of us sing about in a Babylon system when Bob say, them graduating thieves and murderers to keep sucking the blood of the sufferers. I, Rascardo, have the evidential reproof. So make him do whatever I want to do. He is a fraud and the reggae name. I have the creation copyrights and nothing can change the history. Roger Stefan is a fraud. Rastafari, I know.